Okay. See, this doesn't really... Farewell, Lord. Okay, I thought last stand or broke. That's why I had to double check that. Sorry, there was a little issue with last stand uh, yesterday. So, I had to... So, we had to do a quick bug fix on it before we could act before I could actually record. It's going to be kind of weird if every t every chance you got, you got, like, last stand triggering every time, right? So, yeah. Don't really want that in my uh, video that, like, a coding error happened. So, I chose to hold off recording for a day just to kind of uh, patch that out. But then it got patched out, so... And it got patched, so hooray. Again, we're not going to see it for a while because everything in here is too weak. Okay, so something that wasn't able to show you during the playthrough, I can actually show you now during this playthrough, pretty much. So, yay. Can I tell him to wait here, though? Yes, Lord. No, I can't. I can't tell him to wait here. Farewell, Lord Crusader. Okay. So I'm gonna do something well really. Hail, Lord Crusader. I'm gonna do something really weird. Okay. Huh, yeah. mm, okay. I'm gonna take the cures. All right. I'm gonna store this in the chest before he starts talking. I don't. Take the cares. <laughs> For now. Okay. Oof. Don't want it to take now it Now that we're here, I can begin the enchantment to channel the energies from Auriel's bloodstone into the Crusader's relics at any time. Okay. Let me know once the relics are on the stand and you're ready to begin. Okay. So how will the enchantment work then? Auriel's bloodstone is activated by fire, but for it to renew the blessings on the Crusader's relics, a mysticism component is also needed. Using insights gained from the Elder Scroll that we discovered, I have created a modified fire spell just for this purpose. The enchantment will be cast through the Bloodstone, channeling its energies into the relics. If the Bloodstone is indeed a drop of Akatosh's blood, the Crusader's relics should become as powerful as when Pelennor Whitestrake used them. Okay, quick question. The the subtitle said recovered, but I heard discovered. Is that just me? Or is that actually in the dialogue? I'll have to go back on that. So let's begin the enchantment. I can begin as soon as you've placed all eight Crusaders relics on the stand. Let me know when you're ready. I am ready, I just told you. I can begin. What are you talking about? There will there's the, the, the helmet, there's the gauntlets, there's the grief. Oh, we're missing the chest plate, okay. Where are you going? Yes, Lord. Farewell, Lord. Cr yeah, so once... What happens if you have it in your inventory? Yes, Lord. Cr no. Okay. Farewell, Lord. So it has to be on there. Place on this. Okay. Everything is on there. Okay, good. I'm gonna save it because it might crash here. Yes, Lord. Cr okay, let's begin the enchantment. I can see all the Crusader's relics are on the stand. Let's get started then. I'll start the enchantment now. It should only take a moment. Okay. I like it matters. No? Okay. Well, I mean, we're not going to be using this armor anyway. We're going to be using this armor. So, how does it work? How does it work? I'm still waiting for it to work. Wait a minute. What? Instead of using Oriole's Bloodstone on the Crusader Relics, Sir Gareth has paralyzed me. What in the nines is he up to? The legendary Divine Crusader. As gullible as you are powerful. You've been most helpful by handing me an Elder Scroll, Oriel's Bloodstone, and the Crusader's relics on a silver platter. But now that you are no longer of any use to me, I cannot allow you to get in my way. Tess does not like you. <laughs> Tess will protect us. <laughs> I love that. Uh, that might not break anything. That shouldn't break anything, to be honest. Alright. I 
I've woken up in a dark place. The air is stale and thick with dust. All right. No test. Okay. So something to mention: there is a bug in this area that does occur if the mod is not up to date. If the if your mod is up to date, you're not going to find the bug. Obviously not here. I kind of wish I could find that that uh, out of date version that I used to have that bug, but unfortunately I do not have it anymore. So what will happen is that this will be a void and this area right over here, well, I think it's this part. I definitely know this part and this part are completely safe, but the rest of it is a complete void where literally if you drop down here, you will literally drop and die. And then it'll try and get you, and then it'll spawn you back into an auto save of this area right here. And the only way to kind of proceed by all means. past this point, of course, is to kind of shimmy your way through these kind of board things and kind of just shimmy and jump and make sure everything is like kind of working. By the time we get to here, I thought I was kind of screwed until I did this and I was like, oh, okay, I can do that. And then I got to here, then I was like, okay, then you have to kind of shimmy your way over here and then do that. But it's fine. Uh, let's Greetings talk to, to uh, Naomi over here. Finally, you're awake. Try not to move too much. You were badly hurt. So the only way to fix that bug, by the way, before I actually fin uh, finish uh, talking with Naomi here, is to make sure that your Oblivion script extender is up to date. You do need it to play the mod. Uh, I didn't say that at the beginning because I think it's kind of obvious a little bit. And plus, it'll also be in the description of the first video and the description of the playlist once that gets created. Is everything that you need. Uh, and make sure that your the uh, Knights of Nine Revelation mod itself is, of course, fully updated as well to the latest version. Make sure that that is, and you shouldn't have this issue. As you see, I'm currently using that. I have the latest version of uh, Oblivion Script Extender, or OBC, and I have the latest version of Knights of Nine Revelation, so obviously I'm not seeing that issue. So, where am I? You're on the Priory, Undercroft. You've been unconscious for a long time. I don't really see, need to see the other requirement, right? You need nice and nine revelate. You need nice and nine. It was a large force of Aeliads and Aurorans. They attacked the Priory and overwhelmed the Knights of Nine. Not long after I snuck down here, the building started collapsing, trapping us both in here. Oh no. Trapped? Yes. It looks like the building above us collapsed and caved in the only exit. I already looked around. Couldn't find another way out. Uh-oh. I've already put out all of the torches to conserve air. But it's going to run out sooner or later. Unless you come up with something, or one of your knights is alive to rescue us, we'll end up suffocating to death down here. Uh, Knights of the Nine. They were caught off guard. Gareth must have ordered the attack when most of them were on patrol or sleeping. The knights fought bravely, but Gareth's soldiers clearly had the upper hand. I wanted to check if they were alright, but the building started collapsing before I could get up there. I don't know how many of them escaped. Okay then. Why were you in the Priory? There's alien soldiers waiting outside my house and at Alicia's temple. I can't return to either. The Priory was the safest place I could think of, at least until the attack. Yeah. It's a good thing that I found you in the Undercroft as you were on the floor bleeding. I think you would have died had I arrived a minute later. Besides... I think I owe you an apology. But Tess was here. She could have saved us. Apology? For what? Remember when you asked me about the descendants of Saint Alicia at Sard of Elid? I'm sorry that I lied about not knowing any. You were asking the same questions as the aliens who tried to kidnap me, so I couldn't be sure you weren't one of their spies. I guess that this attack on the Priory proves you're not. But anyway, before my mother died, she told me that I was the last direct descendant of Saint Alicia. I don't know if it's true or not, or what that means to you or the aliens, but that's what I know. Hmm. Okay. 
See you. My real question was that it's, she knows that we were the Divine Crusader. So we defeated Umeril, so why wouldn't she trust us almost immediately is the real question. But anyway, it doesn't really matter because she trusts us now, so it doesn't really care. Anyway, Tomb of Sir Amiel. You have to click this, and upon praying at Sir Amiel's tomb, his spirit has appeared before me. What is he doing here? So when you click on this, it comes loose, and you're able to go right through. And rinse, repeat, you can go up this ladder, and Tess will kill all humans. I like that plan. Uh, I didn't see the quest pop up before I clicked it by accident. Alright, the Pride of the Nine has been burned to the ground. I should check if any of the Knights of the Nine survived the attack. They should have. Get off my property! God mode for a second. Thank the nines. You're alive. I am. We feared the worst when the Priory came crashing down. But Sir Thedrit assigned me to look for you, knowing that you could be alive. The rest of the team are holed up in an abandoned shack to the north. I'll take you there. Let's go. Okay. Put the bow down, or I will kill you. Okay, so I need to go god mode for a second, but we're gonna go and use. If my mouse would stop fighting me on this, go so home. And then the game decides to crash at this moment. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Conjurer's Torch. I didn't see a quest, or I didn't see the spell pop up, so I'm a bit concerned it didn't actually work. Oh, no, it did. Good. All right. Here of God mode. We don't need any more. We need this. We need to go to cash. We're just gonna store everything in here. We're gonna sort it all out later. If you did watch the other playthrough, uh, you're gonna know that later on we're gonna have to do something. Uh, this is easy, so it doesn't really matter. But it's fine. Yeah, I'm just throwing everything in here for now. So each and every time we get over encumbered now, I'll just store everything in here. So though it's not going to be like every time we pick up something, we throw it all in here, right? Yeah, so we need to keep this. Uh, we're going to need to activate it, though, so. There we go. Go one, buddy. I kind of just need to switch to... And we'll go with uh, helping hand. We'll go help some beings out. Help some things out. Tess, you broke it. <laughs> How can I help? You broke it again. Sh oh, didn't want to do that. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. How can I help? Sorry, Brillin of Silver and Iron. Yeah, he's just trying to bring us over here. Keep trying to target the wolf. 
touch spells are really difficult to aim. Oh, I wish I could target you with that. But at least they go unconscious, so it's not really that it's not really that hurtful, right? Oh, I need healing vitality though. There we go. I have reunited with the Knights of the Nine, though several of them are missing. I should talk to Sir Thadred for updates. I almost said for upstairs for some reason. And to determine our next course of action. Hail By the power the of Akatar! Alright, Brelin, I'll be very nice to you. I'll give you the essence of life. Is it a good time? We need to talk. There you go. You've got my ear and my Hail, arm too Sir Knight. Needed. Please Blessings speak. of the Nine upon you. Blessings of the Nine upon Hail, you, my Sir friend. Knight. By the power of the nines, you made it! I knew in my heart 